class. I wanted to show you guys something that you can do when it comes to transferring a picture to your drawing paper. So I have this little this little poster that I like a lot. The giant wave of Kanagawa by Hokusai. I want to transfer this to a to another paper. So what I ended up doing was I got this picture and I used my scanner and I actually photocopied it. And so let me show you that. And so after I photocopied it, it was a little bit larger than a regular paper size. So I ended up just using two papers and I just taped them together. And so you'll notice that it's black and white. You can, you can copy and color if you want, but for the sake of this project, I would just stick to, you know, blacks and whites. So if you have a, if you have a copy machine at home, try it out. <laughs> if you have magazines at home and or pictures that you want to try to do a picture of, I would just try to use those. So what I did, what I ended up doing <laughs> was I got the photocopy paper and I turned it face down and then I taped it on my paper, just like that. And you want to tape it so that it doesn't really move around so much. And so what you're looking at now is basically <laughs> I put the paper with the photocopy on my window, <laughs> on my glass window. And so what that does is it, it allows me to see through the paper and I can see right through my, my drawing paper so that what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to trace these lines. So this, uh, you can only do this if you have something really, really bright underneath. If we were in the class, we would use a light table. But if you don't have that, this is your best way to go. <laughs> Just use a very, very bright window. So you see that I taped the sides. I didn't tape all, all sides, but just, just a few, just so that it didn't really fall down. So let's see. I have my pencil here. What I'm gonna end up doing is just drawing some of the major lines. I don't really need to get every, I don't need to get every small detail. Oh, there's a lot more detail on this one than I thought, especially with the, the waves, but let me get some of these more noticeable details here. This, I'm having trouble drawing and holding my, my iPad at the same time. You know what, I'm just going to pause it there. So I drew out most of the important lines about 20 minutes later. So after I took it down from my window, this is what it looked like. You'll see that I didn't really spend that much time trying to make it, trying to get too much information, just enough so I can map it out. This is, this is gonna be useful, especially when I'm gonna use, when I'm going to be using ink or if I'm going to use watercolor, because I really just wanna focus on values and not so much about form, but I hope this helped.